sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill it's khaki i wanted to make a video to share with you my journey to plastic surgery i am having a tummy tuck and an arm lift on march 4th i have now lost 133 pounds and i have maintained that for a couple of months i'm pretty much at goal this is something that I've wanted to do. You know, I knew when I set out on this journey, if I reached my goal, that I would need some plastics. As far as the arms, I've always hated my arms. Uh, you know, there are some people who are large and their arms are don't look bad. You know, they, they fit the rest of them. Mine have never been that case. I have always had that flabby, floppy skin. My whole life, I have never felt comfortable wearing short sleeves. I have a dear friend who had an arm lift a couple of years ago, and I've seen her results. There is a considerable scar, but it's only something that you see when you raise your arm up. When it's down, you can't see it, and it does fade with time. So I'm not really concerned about that. I am tired of clothing fitting me everywhere but my arms. So I'm really excited about that. And then for the tummy, I do have a lot of loose skin. So I'm excited about getting that taken care of. I had my two-week pre-op appointment with my plastic surgeon yesterday. And I got a little goodie bag of stuff for post-op. So let's go over that. Let's see what I've got. So I have scar recovery gel. He told me not to start using that until about two weeks post-op. Then I have Surgilax digestive blend. Those of us in the post-op community, we stay on top of this, but I think that maybe some people don't. And when you have that surgery, you do get constipated, and that's the last thing that you want. Then he wanted me to start this three days before my surgery, as well as the Surgilax and the next thing. This is Brahma, Brahma Lane with, I've never heard of this, quercetin. And it said supports a healthy inflammatory response. So I think this is supposed to help with healing. And then I have also got Arnica that he wanted me to start three, three days before. And this is also something, it's a supplement that helps with healing. I did reach out to my gastric surgery team to make sure that these supplements are all okay for me to take being a post-op. Two weeks pre-op, we'll keep you updated. Hello, it is three days before my plastic surgery. Tummy tuck and arm lift. This is Friday night at bedtime before my surgery on Monday morning. I have to be at the surgical center at 6 a.m. I started my pre-op medicines today. My surgeon wanted me to take, he gave me a bag with different medicines in it, two different supplements that are supposed to be anti-inflammatories and to reduce swelling, and then a herbal laxative that he wanted me to start three days before surgery. I wasn't nervous. I didn't think I was nervous. But then last night, I noticed myself eating mindlessly, and I thought, why am I doing that? And then I realized this may be a little bit of anxiety. And it's funny because I've watched so many videos about people who have gone through this procedure. I have patients who have gone through it. I have friends who have gone through it. And pretty much every, all the people that I know personally say, you're going to be pretty miserable for a few days, but after that, it's okay. So I hope my experience is like that. It's funny, The I'm not scared of anesthesia. I'm not really scared about the surgery. 
I remember the worst part about my gastric bypass surgery was waking up in recovery. And I don't know if, for those of you who've had surgery, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. And people saying, it's over, you did good. And you're just in that twilight. And with my bypass, the most discomfort that I had was not being able to sit up. I was laying flat and I could not pull myself up to be able to get to a comfortable position. Well, after the tummy tuck, I know you can't lay flat, so I'm hoping that's not an issue. I have had a little bit of concern about having surgery on two different parts of my body, my arms and my stomach. Um, I'd be dishonest if I didn't admit that, but for me, because my insurance did not cover any of this procedure, so it was kind of a monetary thing. The biggest part of the cost was the anesthesia and the surgical center. With having both procedures at one time, I just have one anesthesia charge and one surgical center charge, which was if I had separated, and also the fact that I'm just going to take off for one recovery. I guess I'd rather be really miserable for a little while than kind of miserable two different times. So we'll see how my plan works out. Anyway, guys, three days before, I'll update you as I go along. It's the night before surgery. I'm going to show some before pictures so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to have done. Okay, so this is your quintessential in the bathroom pic. <laughs> I don't know any other way to do it except in the mirror. So I'm going to talk about my arms first. As you can see, I have a lot of loose skin on my arms on both sides. You can see that. I kind of lift them both up. So with the arm lift, I it will all this extra stuff, it's gonna start up in the armpit area and then go down to the elbow. You do have a pretty considerable scar but it, it's not visible when your arms are up against your body. I mean, if you're raising your arms up, you will be able to see it, but I doubt I'll be doing that very, very often. Okay, so now talking about the abdomen, I'm going to step a little bit back. As you can see, I have quite a bit of loose skin. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this. It does go around to the back as well. I've got on a Freestyle Libre, as I talked about in a earlier video. I do have some reactive hypoglycemia when I eat uh, simple carbs, so I just keep that on to kind of give me some warning of when it's gonna happen. My scar will be, the incision will be all across the pelvic area, and will go, he said, to about right there. So all this, is going to be basically taken off and then the skin of the upper abdomen is pulled down over the lower abdomen. Your belly button stays in the same place. They just make a new opening on top of the skin. So there we go. We'll see what this looks like in a, a few months. I know it takes a long time for the swelling to go down. So I have got food and my kitchen prepped for after surgery. I've got some snacks. I've got some protein bars, a few little mandarin oranges, some crunchy snacks, my homemade kale chips. I also did some food prep this weekend. I have got lots of different types of soups and stews frozen in individual servings. I've got some frozen dinners that are bariatric friendly. I have some sugar-free popsicles. I have lots of protein shakes ready. I've uh, got some veggies down there prepped. Not sure how much I'll be able to eat the first few days post-op, so I'm ready. We'll just see. 
I bought these wedges. I'm not sure if I will use them or not. I just opened them up and it says to allow 24 hours for them to fully expand. So I'm gonna let them expand and then if I need them, I'm sure my sister can figure it out. There's several different configurations that you can use depending on the amount of support that you need. So I'll let you know if I end up using these. So I've got my little nest made for after surgery with everything hopefully that I will need. I doubt I'll need most of this, but I'll go over what I've got. So I've got my bag of medicine. I have a blanket. This recliner, <laughs> I do not have a recliner. And a lot of folks said you either need to sleep in a recliner or the wedge. That's pretty much what everybody said. So I got this little inexpensive recliner on Amazon for like 120 bucks. I figure I will give it away or take it to Goodwill or something afterwards. I have two different binders. One of them I had after my bypass. The other I got that somebody recommended. Got Tylenol. I have sugar-free cough drops because a lot of times your throat is sore after you're intubated for anesthesia. I have a notebook to write in it when I take medicine because you don't want to forget you've taken something and not know when you should take it again. I have a grabber. I have for my arms, these arm sleeves that after the surgical ones come off, I'll probably use. And then I had somebody tell me about this. I have a lanyard that I've had two or three people tell me to be sure to get that after surgery, when you have the drains and you take a shower, the lanyard, you can clip your drain onto it so that you can still wash yourself. So there's my little nest ready for tomorrow. One thing I forgot to point out that I've gotten, I've had two or three videos that I've watched mention a donut pillow. Apparently you're sitting so much since you can't lay down to sleep. A lot of people have really bad tailbone pain. So I found like a $18 uh, donut video on Amazon. So I got it just in case. So, it is almost 10 o'clock the night before surgery. I am a little anxious. Um, more about not being with my husband than about my own health. Uh, his daughter has come to stay with him while I'm recuperating that first week. So, he's in good hands. He's going to be fine. But, you know, having been with him 24-7 pretty much for a few weeks since he got home from the hospital, it's, it is, I miss him. I just took a shower and washed my hair. I knew I wouldn't be up to washing my hair for a few days. The surgeon did not tell me to wash with a surgical scrub, which I thought was kind of odd when I had my gastric bypass as well as a foot surgery a couple of years before that, I was told to, I was actually given a bottle of like chlorhexidine to wash with the night before in the morning of surgery. So they told me just to use an antibiotic soap. I ordered some chlorhexidine on Amazon. I just felt like every precaution to avoid an infection was warranted. After midnight, I can't have anything to eat or drink. So, I'm having my last snack of veggies and ranch and hummus. Having a cup of coffee, like I've told you in previous videos. I'm one of those people that can drink coffee up until the morning I, or to the time I go to bed. Not just in the morning. I am hoping to get a few hours of sleep. We have to be at the surgical center at 6, so we'll be leaving the house about 5. I've got my alarm set for 4, and like I said, it's getting close to 10, so probably won't get very much. Going to just chill out, watch some videos. I hope everybody has a great week. I will be, if I don't anticipate any change to putting up a video on Wednesday. 
I will update you on my surgery day and the couple of days post-op, so be on the lookout for that. I hope everybody has a great week, and we'll see you on Wednesday.